You are probably already using certain sections of the CLEAP Science website, such as has cards, recipe sheets, practical procedures, buying guides and make it guides. In this video, I'm going to show you some lesser known CLEAPS resources that technicians may find useful when organising their prep rooms and labs and could save them valuable time. We often get queries asking for lab maintenance and safety checklists. We have templates for checklists either in DL248B if you want Word documents or DL248I spreadsheets. The checklists include end of day, weekly, monthly or half termly, end of year and key annual tasks. There are also templates for requisitions, policy for technician service, and counted equipment record. You probably already know about E233, the chemical stock list, which is an Excel spreadsheet that you can edit. You could use this as a basis for your chemical inventory. We've already done a lot of the work for you and have included the has card number and storage group. You can amend the spreadsheet as you see fit and could include where individual chemicals are stored at your site or sites. I have included the chemical supplier on our version at Cleves as it helps me to find the container more quickly. As well as the chemicals stock list, there is an editable apparatus spreadsheet E266. Technicians often need to make labels and signs. You can find CLP hazard pictograms in GL110. These can be copied, resized and pasted into labels you're making or any documents which may need them. The last page has a template that will fit Avery labels, size 65 labels per sheet. If you're not sure what information to put on your labels, you can find this in GL one, one, one. You will notice that GL111 mentions the CLEAPS font. You can download and install GL1110A, which contains macros which use shortcut keys to insert the symbols into Microsoft Word documents. Although you may need to consult your IT administrator to do this. The macro creates shortcuts from the keyboard to the pictograms. Pressing Control plus one will bring up the explosive sign. Control plus two, the flammable sign, and so on. If you are looking for hazard labels, such as a trefoil for your radioactives cupboard, warning sign for your chemical store, flammable sign for your flammables cabinet, or gas cylinder warning signs, these are in E232. These can be copied, resized, and pasted into labels and documents. There is a word document E229, containing both 3D and 2D pictures of basic lab equipment. Some technicians use these on tray and cupboard labels to help students to identify what they are looking for when they might not know the equipment's name. Another common request we get is for a lab rules poster. Why not display this along with our no eating and drinking poster? As we often get asked for help with this by technicians as well. 
remember, if you can't find what you're looking for, just give Cleeps a call or drop us an email via the helpline tab if it's less urgent.